Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Gold Toes Gaming. Today we're going to show you some uh, some new stuff I put together. Let's do... Uh, where is it? The Citadel. Right at the beginning there. So Citadel, uh, basically mono black. Um, I know there's some splash in there, but it still just takes black. Uh, basically the goal is to use uh, Mastermind's Acquisition to get Bolus of the Citadel. Um, and hopefully do it faster than they can kill you. It... Uh, does okay. It has streaks. It has winning streaks and of course losing streaks. So well, let's give her a go. We'll try and we'll play, I don't know, three, maybe four games. See how fast they go. Let's give it a go. Jazz Max. Alright, so we'll talk a little deck tech as we go along here. Two land is not what I would want, but uh, there should be plenty in here we can draw into. Orzhov Enforcer, Death Touch is good enough on its own, but uh, Bankrupt in Blood, I can kill it and get my flyer out. Uh, the Ride of the Belzenlock Bez is the, uh, that's for the Citadel, uh, and he's just for, you know, you can use his ability twice and then use him for a permanent. Now, Jazzmax is seriously considering whether or not they want to keep their hand. That or my connect connection is slow, one of the two. <clears throat> I don't think it's that slow. Alright, so even though we're a little low on land here at first, we do have the Bankrupt in Blood, which will help us draw cards. Uh, Bankrupt in Blood also works really well on that right of the Bells and Lock. Pops out those two tokens. If it comes down to that, because I mean, preferably I would just use that card, Bolas Citadel the next turn, um, and have all those tokens to sacrifice. And we're just waiting. Now they're on timer. At some point you gotta decide what to do. I wonder if they've dropped their connection there. There they go, they mulliganed one. Okay, I'll keep mine. <clears throat> and they bottomed, probably not what they wanted. Black, Vicious Rumors, uh, discard a card, probably Obnixilis. I don't have anywhere near the land I need to play that. There's one land, that's good. Blue and black. Uh, two Bankrupt in Blood, that's not really what I would have wanted to see. Not drawing into this one the way I want, but we'll keep going. Speaking of drawing... Nebraska's Finisher, pretty decent card. I find it more helpful in Draft than Constructed, but it's in here anyway. Um, I have some Recall on this deck, uh, which that can be pretty sneaky. As counter. If I don't get land, I'm going to play Bankrupt. If I... Reveals their hand, you choose an artifact or creature. There is only one creature, so there goes Vraska. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's their connection because that shouldn't take long. You think it would auto select that? Oh well. There's the citadel. We're gonna attack first. Hit him for two. Uh, bankrupt in blood. One, two. Uh, another reason those are in there is for the citadel. Uh, Orzov and Forcer is a good one. I can play my own creature trashing cards on them. To get through my deck with the Citadel, uh, but also have them come back as Afterlife. I have options here. Um, I have four land. They're going to Thought Erasure. I'm going to let them do it. I can constantly plunder one of my flyers there to draw. Is it one card or two? Two cards. Which, if they don't make me discard that, I might play it. Or I might do Bankrupt in Blood. Let's see what they make me get rid of. The Saga. Okay. So I'm guessing they don't have a lot of blockers. Is kind of what I'm getting. Oh, Bankrupt in Blood is Sorcery anyway. 
Uh, my turn. You know what? I am going to get rid of one. I think the cards at this point are worth it to me. Especially if I get through two to get to a land. Ooh, didn't. Um, let's see here. So, going to attack. Let's get that out of the way. Um, let's see if they let... Let's let's see if they let this slide. Oh, they didn't even counter. Alright, here you go. Burglar rat. No pause. Trash your hand, buddy. Just one. It's just one little card. Okay. <clears throat> if they play anything, but they know I have bleeding aid, edge. Hostage taker. Okay. Um Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna do the Reaver and the Reassembler. We are going to attack in the air. If I have to discard, it'll be bankrupt in blood. How does this convert again? Seven war cards in your graveyard. Six. Ooh. So good. Um, what I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to look at my card real quick, but kind of a strategy here is I'm going to attack with everybody quickly. And with any luck, they block with the hostage taker um, kind of haphazardly without looking at my hand. And uh, I can bleeding edge. <clears throat> See? If he lets it go through... If he doesn't think about it, he's going to get bleeding edged. Ah, I'll see. He thought about it. It's a tactic, though. It is a tactic. Um, What are we going to do here? Probably, you know what? I'm going to leave that in case they put out, like, Thief of Sanity or some crap like that. <clears throat> At this point, I don't really want to attack. Crap. That's actually not going to do me any good. At this point, I don't really want to attack um, because I want to start saving all my permanents. <clears throat> and I probably won't block either. But they're down to 10 life, which is what the Citadel... Which is how much damage it deals. <clears throat> probably the Flyer, I guess. Or not. Okay. I guess it is death touch. That's frustrating. Okay, we're still looking at speed here. So, meaning I played the card. Uh, it didn't pause the game at all. So, I'm guessing they don't have any counter. Um, if I do get Bolas' Citadel out there, that's not it. Mm, this might help though. Okay, see? See? Here now it's pausing. And you can expect, uh, gosh, any number of things. Ca essence capture, uh, just flat counter spell, no escape, all sorts of stuff. I do have the city's blessing. If they let it go, I do get the, I do get the uh, emblem, and they did. So no attacks coming up here. Exile, bummer. No attacks. Okay, so the instant they had in hand was uh, Vraska's Contempt. Possibly another one. You never know. Um, this is a... Time reveals her hand. She's an artifact. Discard it. Bummer. Well... Um, that doesn't help, but I'll put it out. At least it gives me a death touch and another permanent. You know, if I... I don't know. They're building up a pretty decent counters to what all I've got going on here. I mean, they are short in cards in hand, but they've got Escanta there. So I've got a couple turns to try and make something happen here. Um, if they attack... I won't block. 
I kind of wish, kind of wish I could have held onto that bullet citadel there. Oh well. You know, obviously they're not coming at me on the ground. If they come at me in the air, uh, I'm probably just gonna keep. Probably not gonna pop out another permanent. Depends on what they do. Mmm, that's not bad. I'm just collecting permanents at this point. And they're letting me. Alright, well, Thought Collapse. That's a counter out of their hand. <clears throat> uh, I'll take the Death Touch. And actually, I'll attack with it. I got plenty of cards in my deck, but... I know I was hoarding permanents, but... You know, let's keep it interesting. I mean, at the at the very least, they're out of they're out of cards. They do have Escanto, which is ridiculous. Draw two cards. I can see that happening next turn. Hmm. Mastermind's acquisition went in there. Bummer. Well, there is another copy of that, and there is another Citadel. So, I'm assuming what we have here. Let's see one Citadel. One mastermind. There we go. Uh, I mean, I can do that, I guess. It's not like they're going to counter it. <clears throat> so, attack with three, I guess. I'm gonna attack you, buddy. That. Alright. He gets an extra counter. I get the feeling they're not drawing what they want, even though Ascanta should be very helpful. Put a land in there. Another Ashiok. <laughs> okay, now I'm a little worried. <clears throat> what they trash? I'm not sure if that's in order. Quite frankly, I don't want to look. There is a citadel. That would be nice. Um, I'm going to attack that and that. That, that way, they've got a block, right? That way, they've got to block that. All right. Yeah. All right, so they're gonna they're gonna kill four more of my cards off the top. Um, they've got two things in hand. Uh, exclusion mage. What are they gonna do? Yeah, okay. Duh. Gets rid of a counter. They're gonna do that, I assume. I have some cards left. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the next thing is a land. That should help us get through this. <clears throat> I have to read that real quick. What does that do? Oh, okay, so he's not going to deck himself. Top two. I, he draws. What am I at? 11. Ooh. This one's going to be close. It's not a land. Um, let's kill that. Some sort of counter? Alright, so we're going to do that there, that, there, that. Boy, this one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. Hey, hey, Gracie. Will you go shut that door? Please. Oh, two land. Bummer. Could have used that. 
I just need one. Draw two cards. Some sort of return or Graska's Contempt. We have enough to play it. Maybe they're just calculating their life. Gain control. Okay. This doesn't help. Darn it. What's he doing here? Two cards off my library. Well, Bolas' of Citadel is not going to help me anymore. I don't have enough stuff to play. Uh, let's do what we can. Another land. Okay, five cards left. Yeah, the only way to get this one done is to attack. Honestly. Oh, nice. This game lasted too long. Yeah, let's see what we draw before we give it up. Land. Whatever. Gosh. Well, he milled me. Man, that was slow. I was not... First of all, they play slow, which is very frustrating. Um, second of all... Just not quite enough land that go-round. It was looking okay, but... Couldn't get it done. So remember, this is ranked play, so I mean... You're gonna get people who are actually trying to win, hopefully, usually. Um, and I've tested this deck some. It's not like I'm coming at it completely blind. Four land. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to draw into some stuff. I'm confident. Flying Dada. Slow playing, come on. Do something. <sighs> okay. Probably, probably one of my least favorite things about Arena is playing people that just take forever. And that's not just being impatient, it's just like, I don't know, I, wa I wonder sometimes if people play slow just to annoy people that are impatient and that they'll concede or something. <laughs> is that cynical? I don't know. Okay, so um, I don't have enough for the City's Blessing yet for the Twilight Prophet. Uh, however, if I can play that out, I can probably do the right of Bells and Lock just to crank up to 10 permanents, which I think that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It would be the second time. I am going to get it out there. Yeah, well, we're playing green black, so it's not like they're going to counter it. They, I mean, they can kill it, I guess. Whatever they do, it's going to be, it's going to take a long time, I tell you that. 
reach death touch. Well, luckily it's not specifically for attacking, really. So the reason I have Sovereign's Bite, that common, in my deck is because uh, Bolas' Citadel takes a lot of life to use. So, you know, I mean, it serves its purpose. It reduces it reduces them. You're trying to get them, you're trying to get them down to ten. Is the whole idea, and that makes it three damage closer. And it gives me three life, which gives me more to play around with with the Citadel. So, Sovereign Bite works out pretty well for this deck. <clears throat> okay. If they attack with any of the spores, we block with the Enforcer. If they attack with the Archer, of course we block with the Enforcer. The Death Touch is just a nice touch. Uh, yeah, we're going to throw this down. Because what I can do, that gives me two, and I have the Blessing. Alright, no attacking. So assuming they don't outright kill the Twilight Prophet, it's going to start uh, the purpose of it, as far as this deck is concerned, in the Citadel, is it helps me gain life. It helps deal damage to them. Uh, just, just to try and get them. If I, if you can reel it off a couple times, um, it will, it'll help get them down to ten quicker. As well, it helps you draw an extra card each turn. So, and who doesn't like drawing an extra card each turn? All right, making some more saplings. So they're going to attempt Overrun, and I'm going to attempt Direct Kill. I've still got six more damage to do them first, so that is that is one little tricky part. <clears throat> that would be really cool if Twilight Prophet picked up a Citadel. That would be, that would be the perfect top deck. Nope, but it is four. So... All right, we're going to create those, and I can't drop the Citadel yet, but I will... I will Vraska's Contempt that Archer. Because I need to get some damage through. Do I want to attack? Yeah. If I can just get two damage through, there we go. And now we wait. So the purpose of this deck, I don't think they're going to outright kill everything. But you know they're gonna they're gonna keep trying to overrun. I suppose I've got plenty of life already. I mean this is working out the way I hope it would, um, except for the fact that I need a couple more lands. So with any luck, I can uh, pop into two of them with the Twilight Prophet. I have got Bankrupt in Blood, which I would happily trade my Enforcers for. Another Shepherd. That's a ton. Six tokens. I've got the Death Bloom Thalid. He can gain life off that, right? No. Uh, no blocking here. He's got no open land, so it's not like he's gonna... Finish her, I guess. Um, what do we do here, I guess? He's got three blockers. I've got one, two, three attackers. That's four damage. That, which is not enough. Yeah. Afterlife. Afterlife. No lands. Gosh. Uh... Uh, wow I know there's enough in here <laughs> man <clears throat> no lands wow that's intense uh, what do I do? Six damage if I don't sacrifice something. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna get him in the air, but jeez. That's a lot. I I can't let's see. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Jeez, I'm gonna use up my timer just blocking. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. There we go. Well, that's a win. It's um not how I wanted to win. It's not really the combo I was going for, but I suppose that shows a little bit of resilience in the combo itself. Um, let's give it another go. Let's give it another go. Let's see if we can pull off that Citadel condo combo. <clears throat> it's not even really just a combo, it's just getting it done. Man, I thought I had enough lands there. I thought it was starting off well, and I mean, I won, but <laughs> I want to use the Citadel, dang it. <laughs> Uh, okay, three land, and mm, we'll take it. Maybe this will develop. Or maybe they're just playing mono red. <clears throat> or life gain. That is a weak point in this deck, uh, life gain. That causes it to be difficult. Let's start with this guy. So four land is good. Four land will allow me to get the Twilight Prophet out there. Raska's sworn in eminence. But we gotta hope that we don't get trashed. A Johnny's welcome. Another a Johnny's welcome. Hmm. I'm gonna attack. And I'll drop the Doom Dissenter. Doom Dissenter is in there for sacrificing to the plunder or the draw three. <clears throat> I do want to use this, but I more so want to use this. Bleeding Edge is pretty, pretty good. Excellent draft card. And uh, you know what? I find that in actual constructed play, it still does pretty good. I find that it still does pretty good. So they're down to three cards in hand, so they're really trying to gain life here. <clears throat> um, I'll attack, I mean, I'll start attacking on the ground with my death touch. Uh, we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop the profit. And we'll attack here. He's not gonna block it. So we're up to five, six, seven, eight, nine permanents. So I should be able to get the city's blessing here shortly. As long as they don't kill the prophet. They are looking at all my stuff here. Okay. Ooh, that's nasty. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to start saving for a blocker. Oh, well. It's not what I wanted to do, but I can still put this out and uh, I'll get my permanence. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I already have the blessing after that. I'm going to play a death touch. I'm going to... Soren's Thirst. That. Soren's Thirst is nice. I mean, it's a good card in and of itself. Uh, but, in this particular deck, it helps me gain life for the Citadel. Um, and, and I don't even have to use it on their creatures. I can use it on my own sometimes. Which uh, can help filter through the deck with the Citadel. So they're at 22. I'm not ready to pop that on yet. Uh, but the Twilight Prophet should help. As long as it's not a land. Um, yeah, let's drop another one. I'm going to play the Citadel. That'll give me a chance to draw some. At this point... 
What are we going to do? We're going to attack with our death touches. The goal at this point, so assuming they don't come out and get rid of our board, which is always a bad day, uh, we're basically going to try and get the... We're basically going to try and get... 10 permanents, which I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 right now. Um, am I going to do this? No, I don't want to. So with the Citadel, the goal, first of all, is to get them down to 10 health. It's unlikely that you're going to come up with 20 permanents in order to run it twice, in order to burn it off twice. I guess you'd actually need 21 permanents? No, just 20. Um, <clears throat> what's he doing? He's attacking in the air. That's okay. Yes, pity. That's okay, she did her job. She got me two permanents out there. Life gain is tough in this format. Alright, so we're going to drop a swamp. We're going to play that. A mass. Drop the doomed dissenter. Going to attack with this and this and that and that <clears throat> so the death touches the flying and the four for four i'm assuming he doesn't want to get of his get rid of his epicure of blood that's really going to hurt my deck. I still have a blocker, yep. So he's got four in the air coming at me, which is fine. Would love to... Okay, so if I don't die, if I were to top deck like Frasca's Contempt or something like that, I didn't play it yet, did I? Or one of the Planeswalkers, something with a, a nice mana cost with the Twilight Prophet that could get him down to 10 and we could pop it we could pop the Citadel assuming they don't the assistance in gains life doesn't it dang it <laughs> all right so yeah get rid of that I guess Um, this isn't really shaping up real well. Swamp, not what I wanted. Oh, I knew it wasn't going to top deck it. Duh, I could see my card. Um, let's play this. What is that? Oh, that's not going to help. Hmm. <laughs> so if I play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can't block any of them. Two, four, seven, ten. Oh. Oh. That doesn't matter. Okay, so that's a negative on the Citadel again. Well, I <laughs> kind of wish it would work the way I wanted. But it's still a win. 33 minutes. Uh, let's see. I just want to pull it off one time. Let's 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 hopefully get a fast player here. One more. Ideal opening hand. Yeah, I know. You know what? I know I know the rules on an ideal opening hand, but <laughs> I'm so bad. I take hand I always I often take hands that I don't that I shouldn't take. This one I will. <clears throat> okay, so a little more deck tech here. Bankrupt in blood. I might reduce down to one of those. I'm not really feeling it. Costly plunder is still good. Because costly plunder I can use on Orzov and get my flyer out. If they're not playing anything. Death Horde. That'll be good for life gain. It, it actually tends to work okay. Depending on the deck type you're against. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done.
They didn't put anything. Maybe they have a spell pierce? Nope, it went out too quick. So, oops, wrong screen. Let's do this. Uh, they didn't put anything out, so I'm going to enforce her. If they do play a creature, I like where this is going because it'll probably still be small. Bleeding Edge is a great, it really is. In my opinion, it's a great card. If you draw it at the right point in the game, pretty much. Later in the game, it's not as great, but uh, it'll really help in this deck. Um, it does help in this deck as far as uh, creating tokens, creating permanents for the Citadel. I don't have the Citadel yet, but I also don't have the land for it yet, so that's not disappointing. They're not dropping lands. Yes, they are. They're just being slow about it. Darth Hog. 509, I wonder if they're from our area. They've got some sort of speed play in their hand because this is taking you too long. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Attack first. I like to attack first. Unless I specifically have to play something in my main phase one, I, I generally wait for my main phase two. Let the damage go through. Drop that. And we're not going to mess with the plunder. Depending on what they do, I might at the end of their turn. We'll see. We shall see. Opt. It's a good deck thinner there. For one cost. They take it. They take their card. It's going to be my turn. So I am going to costly plunder my tapped enforcer. Assuming they let me have my turn. Slow play. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Come on. Sacrifice our fractured creature. There we go. And done. Uh, he comes back as a flyer. And I draw two cards. Unless, of course, he counters something. There we go. There it is. Well, let's see what we get. A little laggy here. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna... I guess... <laughs> Wait! They're not playing creatures. Just lands. Although he paid for that one. Cleansing Nova. Hmm. Well, at least I get my... <clears throat> afterlife. And I amass again. My turn. I have a feeling they're not getting what they want. And hopefully this will help. Hopefully it'll be an easy choice. Discard something. Burglar Rat. It's just kind of filler, I guess. Um, what I was kind of going for with Burglar Rat was something inexpensive for the Citadel to go after. Something that had a consequence, which was making the opponent... Discard. Uh, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen a situation where it makes me want to take it out yet. So I'm gonna leave him in there for now. And he's a chump block. He's a chump block. He's a hand discard. He's uh, fodder for the citadel. Eh, keep it for now.
Okay. He's got a lot of land and nothing that he's even able to do with it. Apparently. That reach is super slow. Timer on. Timer on. Let's go. Chop, chop. My turn. Okay. So much thirst also helps with the uh, Dreadhorde invasion. Another ores off. Uh, I am going to attack with everybody, even though they have enough for Settle the Wreckage. I would take the land at this point. There it is. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to let it go. Oh yeah, I am. Swamp, swamp, swamp. All right. All right. Little do they know that that might actually help me. They're already at nine, so a top deck Citadel would work just fine. Don't have as much life as I'd like, but it's okay. You know what? We're going to Swords Thirst. Just on the off chance that we do. You sure? Yes. Just on the off chance that we do get a Citadel. Oops. Okay. Mm, okay, I can do what I want here. I guess just attack. Is this a sorcery? Yeah, we're going to do that. We are going to try. Try and get that combo off this game. That's not it, but it's closer to it, right? It's got to be closer to it. <sighs> One, two, three, four. I have four permanents right now. I'm going to have two when that comes out. More, so that'd be six. The Citadel would be seven. Let's do it. Stop being so slow. Darth Hog. The world is your oyster. You have eight lands out there. Come on, man. Do they have like a copy spell or something in their hand? Like a like a expansion explosion? There it is. Okay, so they were just there there was something they were holding on to. <clears throat> so Alright, so Vraska's finisher Vraska's finisher. Reassembling set of skeletons. All right, let's go. Just waiting on you, buddy. <clears throat> mm. 
make a decision. You know, either trash all my creatures or just let me kill you. I've got enough to do it. I've got enough to do it. Again, this is where I wonder if, if some people slow play on purpose. I can see their mouse moving around, right? Well, that's nice. Okay. Just gonna get another one with the Dread Horde invasion. Seal away. Very good. Now it's my turn. Amass again. Dread Horde Enforcer. What do you know? Or excuse me, Or Orzov Enforcer. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna attack. Not with those. He has to block something, or else he loses, and so Vraska's finisher will take care of the job. And then we have to wait on them even more. We have to wait on them even more. <laughs> Which is my favorite part, waiting. There you go. Probably going to bleeding edge that. Gosh. For the edge of mass two. And I guess let's just drop our hand. Because we're being haphazard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Ball of Citadel plus one card that I can use with it. I would love to finish this game with that card. Please, random number generator. Give me Bolus's Citadel or Mastermind's Acquisition. One of the two. There's two of each in here. I don't think I've drawn either one. So 10% chance to get what I need. Need or want. I tried running more copies, but I kept ending up ending up with too many of them. So not sure what to do with that. Maybe put one back in. You know, to where I have a 12% chance of drawing one off the bat. I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to play it though. For the sake of this video, I would love to play it. <clears throat> and for the sake of this video, I'd love for this person to uh, go a little faster. I know I've said that like 10 times. Gosh, I probably sound like a jerk. That's not what I mean. I just hate that it takes so long when I'm recording, honestly. You know, if it's just me, it's no big deal because I can, you know, I can play a game on my phone while I'm waiting on people, but not to... Uh, not so when I'm recording. That would just be rude if I was playing on my phone and recording. So I'm not going to do it. Timeout used. Draw a card. Untap two lands. There we go. Two is not enough for Settle the Wreckage. And even if he did do that, I would probably let him. And try and get the Citadel. Is that bad? Probably has a counter though. Of course. Nope, he finally gives up. Ugh! I didn't even get to see if I drew what I wanted. Oh boy. Well, okay, so the deck was three out of four, I think. I'm pretty sure I lost that first one. Now it's like forever ago. I can't remember. Um, so I'm just going to come out with it. This is probably going to be a <laughs> clickbait video, but uh, just to show how the Citadel doesn't work. I know it's my deck construction, but anyway, guys, hey, if you stuck around this long, um, I hopefully we can make some uh, more fun decks in the future, ones that actually get the combo off that you intend. Watch, I'm going to play one after I stop recording. It's going to work. But uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, I know I'm small potatoes right now, but uh, we'll get there. We'll grow this channel. We'll get some cool decks out there and uh, progress. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.